find out what's happening this week in the world of books this and every Monday. Stay tuned! Welcome to Biblio Happy Hours Biblio News segment, where we will be sharing new releases for this week, other titles to look out for in future, bookstore events, and what's trending. Before I get started, I just wanted you to know that you can listen to our off-the-cuff discussions, get our monthly top-shelf new release recommendations, behind-the-scenes content, perks, and more over on our Patreon page. Patreon is a super easy way to support the show, plus it helps us to grow and embark on new and amazing projects for both the book and bookstore community. So check out the details over at patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder. And without further ado, here's what's new for the week of Monday, October 21st. Before I get started with what's new this week, I'm going to backpedal to one major event that happened last week. The winners for the 2019 Booker Prize were announced. Bernadine Evaristo for her novel Girl, Woman, Other, and Margaret Atwood for The Testaments. Now, with this announcement also came some criticism, the most obvious reason being that they selected two winners this year instead of one. Now, I'll be mentioning some of the books that will be available on bookshelves during the week of October 21st. New from Random House is a biography entitled Edison, written by Edmund Morris. This is a new biography of Thomas Alva Edison, the most prolific genius in American history. Also from Random House is Before and After, the incredible real-life stories of orphans who survived the Tennessee Children's Home Society. And this is by Judy Christie and Lisa Wingate. Also from Random House is Biblio Style, How We Live at Home with Books. And this is by Nina Freudenberger, Sadie Stein, with photographs by Shade Degas. In this book, we get a peek at the private libraries and bookshelves of passionate readers from all over the world. New this week from Harper Books is The House of Brides. And we have the author Jane Cockrum here with us to share all the details. Jane, welcome to Biblio Happy Hour. Thank you for having me. Oh, we're so excited to have you. So your debut will be available on bookshelves this week. On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you? And just generally, how are you feeling? Well, I have to say there's excitement, but there's equal parts nervousness. I think uh, I think they go hand in hand at this stage of the game. Um, but I have to say both of them are, are running pretty high with less than a week to go. So uh, yes, we are, we're all pretty excited here and at Harper. I can just only imagine, you know, just how exciting that would be. Uh, but tell us about your book. Tell us about The House of Brides. So The House of Brides, it is it is like a modern take on Rebecca, the Daphne du Maurier classic, which I know a lot of readers hold very close to their hearts. So it is a little bit of a dangerous game going back to a book that is so cherished. But I wanted to look at the, the setup of Rebecca and how it would unfold with a modern protagonist at its centre and what a modern girl, a modern uh, young woman could do in, in a, a situation where she is out of control, uh, the power is in the hands of other people. Uh, I wanted to see how a young modern woman with agency would react in that situation. Uh, so I, I toyed around with that idea for a long time and I came up uh, with the idea of a young girl who is has grown up in the age of the internet and who is an influencer or a very prominent social media identity who falls upon hard times and she is, it comes to a stage in her life where she's a bit lost. And at that stage, uh, she receives a letter from a member of her mother's estranged family. And like all good mysteries, this letter sets her off on an adventure to uncover some stories about her mother's past. But at the same time, she discovers a, a contemporary mystery and she becomes embroiled in that. Beginning, middle or end, what did you enjoy writing the most? Oh. I think I always enjoy beginnings. I mean, it's always fun to start afresh and to come into a new world for the first time. And 
I think all writers enjoy creating these these new worlds and and uh, the place and the characters and building them and and it, it's like it's just a dream at that stage. You haven't hit the tricky middle and the the problem solving at the end. It's it's all about the setup and and just letting your mind sort of play. So I, I have to say the beginning is, is always my favourite. Okay, uh, how long did it take you to write the novel in its entirety? It took uh, over two years. Um, I, I sort of wrote the first draft quite quickly and then I tinkered with it for a long time, adding in layers of mystery um, and getting some feedback from trusted readers and then my agent. So uh, it is a long process, but I enjoy that editing process. I think it's um, it's all part of the writing experience and I think it, it can't take any less than that. Okay, but when you're not reading or writing, what are you doing? Well, I am a really keen cook. I love cooking and I think that there's quite a few food references in the House of Brides. So it comes that comes through. I love baking and trying out new recipes and hosting friends. So that's one of my favourite things to do. Okay. And if you didn't write, what would you do for work? Oh, I think, well, I used to work in publishing um, and so I love being around books. Like all of my, all of my professional life has been around books so I could never probably separate work from books I don't think I'm I I would always have to go back to either working in a bookstore working in publishing or maybe working with food working with food (laughs) okay (laughs) my two great loves yes uh, tell us some of your favourite bookstores. Uh, where do you like to find new books? Well, I live in Melbourne, which is uh, a city of literature, so we are spoilt for choice with all sorts of bookstores here. We have independent bookstores, chain bookstores, uh, department stores, so we uh, we have so many to choose from, but we have got some great ones near me here. Thesaurus in Brighton, Readings in Melbourne is an institution, The Avenue. Uh, I think uh, I live in one of the best places to have accessibility to books, so we're very lucky. Mm. Wow, that sounds great. But um, getting back to The House of Brides, how do you want readers to feel after reading this book? I want them to feel a little bit energised and I want them to feel optimistic about young women, I guess. I want them to feel that there is lots of hope in the future and that women in in the light of all the uh, cultural commentary at the moment are are equipped to deal with the challenges the world will throw at them um, and that that they feel faith in in the relationships between between women. I want them to feel like we can uh, support each other and and come together to overcome odds. So that's the the feeling I want people to get from reading The House of Brides. Alrighty. Jane, thank you so much for coming on the show. The House of Brides will be available in bookstores in the US on Tuesday, October 22nd. Thank you so much. Tune in to our Off the Cuff discussion over on our Patreon page, where I will continue the conversation with author Jane Cockrum. She shares more details about the concept of her novel, The House of Brides, what her work schedule is like when she's writing, her favourite childhood book, her favourite mode of travel, and she also shares about the other projects she's currently working on. So head on over to patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder and tune in to the rest of our conversation. New from Flatiron Books, Do You Mind If I Cancel? Things That Still Annoy Me by Gary Janetti. From the well-known screenwriter and viral sensation comes a collection of humorous essays chronicling the pains and the hilarious indignities of modern life. New from Minotaur Books, Stranger at the Gate. This is a thriller and suspense novel by Catriona McPherson. New from Simon & Schuster is The Deserter by Nelson DeMille and Alex DeMille. This father-son duo delivers a blistering new thriller featuring a brilliant and unorthodox army investigator, his troubling new partner, and their hunt for the army's most notorious and dangerous deserter. New from Gallery Books is Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Loren. Twice in a Blue Moon is a modern love story about what happens when your first love re-enters your life when you least expect it. New in paperback from Gallery Books is This Will Only Hurt a Little by Busy Phillips. New in paperback from Bayback Books is The Last Whalers, Three Years in the Far Pacific with a Courageous Tribe and a Vanishing Way of Life. And this is by Doug Bock Clark. Also new in paperback from Bayback Books is 
The Age of Light by Whitney Scherer. Also new from Bayback Books is Mistress of the Just Land, a Jean Brash mystery by David Ashton. New from Counterpoint Press is The Bead Workers. This is a story collection by Beth Piatote. New in paperback from Tin House Books is Bitter Orange by Claire Fuller. Alrighty everyone, that's it for today's show. Thank you so much for listening and special thanks to Jane Cockrum for coming on the show. A list of all the books mentioned in the show will be available over at bibliohappyhour.com. Don't forget to follow Biblio Happy Hour on social media and sign up for newsletters. To shop all the books I've mentioned in the show and to find a bookstore near you or when you're traveling, visit bibliofinder.com. To listen to our off-the-cuff discussions, get our monthly top-shelf new release recommendations, behind-the-scenes content, perks, and more, head on over to patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder. And wherever you're listening, please don't forget to share, subscribe, rate, and review the show. Alrighty, everyone, that's it, and I look forward to talking to you in next week's show. Music